Um, Got to have the architecture slide um, with everything that we're doing. Um, I, I wish I could spend more time on it than I'll be able to, but on your left side, you got all of our different systems that we're pulling information from. Um, then we're throwing it into a big Postgres warehouse, and we're also using Redshift. The area that I wanted to pull out, and I put a green hour on it from this morning when we were, we were, uh, they were talking in the keynote, is serving the information up and having it in Salesforce as a presentation layer, so like all about the APIs. So I spent 20 <clears throat> years getting information out of Salesforce and putting it into the warehouse, and we're totally doing that. But more and more, again, Looker interface is great, but if my sales reps and marketing reps are working in Salesforce, that's where I should present the information. So we spend, um, we spend a majority of our time initially working on getting it where we can have some page layouts. We're actually pulling this information into Salesforce. We're using a tool called Heroku Connect. It's really, uh, it's very cool. They basically have a database over here that looks like your Salesforce instance and your Salesforce instance and change anything in either place and automatically syncs. Find me later, it's really cool. But then on the right side, all of the different ways that we're serving up the data, the tell them, tell them, tell them again. Um, I just really wanted to focus on the lower left or the left to right about the real time learning. But you know, we're using Looker all over the place. 300 explorers, 1,500 looks, 30 dashboards, 50,000 executions a month. You know, lot, lots going on there. Happy to talk about it more. Um, but here's an example of an HVA. I uh, blanked it all out, but Bob Smith comes up onto the platform and says, hey, I'm going to install the New Relic add-on. And it's really hard to see, but basically within 10 minutes, that information is in the Salesforce instance showing up in a part of the page layout. And then using standard Salesforce and the alerting, um, the email, the, sorry, the sales rep for that customer gets an email that says, hey, look, somebody did something interesting, you should follow up. And we have all the metrics around that and everything else. So that's a very quick example of an end-to-end -end HVA. And right now we have about 20-ish HVAs, LVAs, NVAs, okay? All right, so um, I gotta show a Looker dashboard at least once or twice. TOFU, anybody know what TOFU stands for? Top of funnel. So top of funnel, middle of funnel, bottom of funnel. So top of funnel is all about signups, registrations, activations, monthly active users. Um, this is really um, something that we use every week in our meetings. We actually have an email that goes out every night that shows rolling averages of one day, seven days, and 30 days of all of our key metrics. And again, what's really, really cool is when the CMO says, hey, I notice our, th our seven day rolling average on monthly active users is way up or way down. What's going on with that? We're not waiting for our weekly meeting. It's far more real time, okay? Um, here's another dashboard again, just to, to, to show you some of the things we're doing. This is all about billings. I had to blank it all out because you can't see the numbers and so forth. But we break it out across the different platform components that we have by language, billable, non-billable, daily trends, collection rates, um, all of that kind of good stuff. Like I said, we probably have about 40 or some odd different dashboards right now. Okay. All right, so that's one third of my presentation and that took um, two thirds of the time. So as, as expected, but I really wanted to focus quite a bit on the infrastructure and the plumbing and the parts. But boy, I would love to talk about this later at the block party or whatever else. But I really, I wanted to make sure we spent a couple of minutes not just talking about the infrastructure. A lot of times in, in, uh, at Heroku I get, I get mocked quite a bit because I have these things that I say, but it's all about the people, process, and infrastructure. So just my message to you is don't forget about the people in the process. You can have the best tools in the world and you will fail without a good people in the process. So I did want to give a shout out to my team. This is the, the Heroku data professionals, four people out of 250. Everything that I've shown you prior to this slide is everything that they've done. And there's four of them for 246 people. So I'll give you the real names, but if you go to LinkedIn and you try and poach them, I'm going to be really ticked off. But um, so what we have, of course, is a Looker dashboard up top, and it's over by our business operations group. And what's really cool is it's showing one of our new products that we release. And it's really cool watching the engineers go by, and they're like, whoa, wait a minute, what does that say? And you can like, they're just kind of looking at it and, and all of that. But if you see down below, you know, that's the, like, you know, I did, I've been doing SQL since the 80s. That's like the original dashboard down there. It's a finance dashboard. It says revenue too low, expenses too high. But it's always right. It has conditional styling. So, and obviously that guy there, Taylor, he was the one who came up with the, the finance dashboard and everybody else feels sorry for him. But, uh, 
uh, Taylor, Chris, Zach, Young, um, really proud of them. Okay, so a little bit about the process. So one of the things, and I've heard it before in here, is that we have weekly meetings, um, both operationally focused and the business focus. So remember I had numbers one through seven, wash, rinse, repeat. It's so important that you have weekly getting together. It has to be the most important meeting of the week. I really truly feel like this is the most important, as the ops guy, the most important meeting of the week. Because again, I think it was Anita from the, um, uh, earlier was saying, Great, and now analyze it all you want, but if you're not changing anything, what's the point? That's what the point is. So it's great to serve up all the data, but use these meetings as a way of going, no, 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 no. We are not leaving until we come up with something that we're going to change about our business, even if it's a little thing. Hey, let's try this HVA. Well, that really stunk. Let's never speak of it again. Those are, you have to have those meetings. Um, the different communication channels, we love using Slack. We're big on the email. We totally ripped off Looker, and we have analytic office hours um, every Friday noon to too. So we have those, those folks that I showed you. They're sitting in a room. Uh, we have a Google Hangout set up that people remote can come in and say, hey, I'm trying to do this in Looker, or I'm trying to figure this out. How do I go about doing it? So again, a tool, just, just a tool without the, the, you know, the people really able to help them out. Um, analytics, wikis, all of that. So I wanted to give you one example. I know it's an eye chart, but here we are in Slack in our BizOps channel, and Marianne comes in and goes, hey, I want to know about one of our Kafka Cassandra customers, and Taylor's like, yeah, sure, we have a look for that, and oh, hey, let me ask you some other questions. But then the other thing you see on the right side there is we had pinned something to our Slack channel, everything you want to know about Looker. So we have an entire analytics wiki where down the page we have different videos. Uh, Chris has gone in and he's, he's done all of his uh, little cheesy Looker videos, but it really works. And it really is a way of teaching him the fish. And it doesn't have to be fancy and it doesn't have production quality. It's just when you go from 50 people to 250 people, four people isn't going to cut it. And uh, what was it, Aaron is one person out of 30 trying to do it. So these are some of the ways, and it's just kind of, you know, meat and potatoes, just pretty easy to do, and but people overlook it because they don't, don't let, don't let perfect be the enemy of good enough is, is another thing that we talk about, all right? Um, so what's next for us? Um, we're going to continue building out our customer journeys. As I mentioned, remember, we have the Salesforce channel over here, and we have the online channel over here. There's times where people start in Salesforce, and maybe they're actually no longer a Salesforce customer, and they want to be a Heroku customer. Or they're more, more appropriately, they're a Heroku customer, and they want to figure out how to go and buy more Salesforce. So how do we clean up those journeys? Where do we put people in the organization to handle that? Uh, we want to double the number of HVAs, LVAs, and NVAs we have. Um, we want to have this concept of what makes up a critical application in Heroku. We want to figure out all those 108 different events and say, wow, it doesn't necessarily mean it's the fastest app or biggest app or whatever, but this is a critical app for the customer. We want to be able to highlight that and do stuff with it. Um, we're expanding out our data warehouse to do more Redshift and more streaming with Kafka Cassandra. And we are hiring, need an analyst and a DBA, so if you're here and you're looking for a really cool job, and even if you're here with a boss, like we can meet over here behind the curtain or something when nobody has to know. Um, and so the three favorite words you've been waiting for is end in conclusion. Um, don't wait, start now. Um, don't be afraid to make mistakes. If you really have the relationship that you have with your team, you're going to try stuff. Stuff's going to work, stuff's not going to work. But if you're doing it like for two weeks at a time and not three months at a time, just try stuff. And I've found more, more often than not that they're going to be like, all right, we tried it. Well, that was a waste of time. Let's go off and do something else. But remember those three legs in the milk stool there. Just don't worry about it. Just don't focus on the tools. Focus on all of it. Uh, serve up the data in a lot of different ways. Be agile. Communicate often. There's my email address. Thank you very much.